happen, but now it's all down to Super in this one versus two, as Bolo is able to take down Gomfi. But Super, oh man, I haven't seen flicks like this in a while from this man. Actually going to end up throwing a full magazine in instead of capitalizing off the intel he got from that quick peek down the hallway. Challenges through. Arcade, though, finds one. Does he have stun grenades? He doesn't. It's going to have to be the face check, but he's already worked his way outside. Bolo, so smart. Bait super inside. Outplays Mr. 1.6. And TSM find their second round. In order to get onto the diffuser here, Meepy is going to be spotted on the outside. Scyther takes the duel and wins it, but now is the hard part. Now he's going to deal with the player upstairs, and this is not going to be an easy factor at all. He does not have the Nitro still to confirm the easy kill. He's going to oh! Oh, what is this? There's oh, no way good. that Leon's going to be able to read into this. Maybe he has. No, he's noticed it. The nade goes in. It's going to oh. impact. It should connect, but no! Not in time! Just a moment too late! An Empire 3 billion IQ from Scyther! Oh, Canadian, why are you there? Fabian with a very easy kill, and it's going to be up to BC to clutch yet again. The Mira playing inside of small office. He'll go for a C4, tosses it out. Will it hit? BC has has to live for two seconds. Can Pengu find him? No! Evil geniuses will stick the third round. BC, another clutch. Difficult for him to spot. The diffuser will get set. Pengu knows where all this fire is coming from. He drops down, but no, a bit. Too slow on the return. Redgrove is one. He gets two kills. And that's a 3k for him. Can he get the fourth? Cantor Ketty's already upstairs. A lot of fire down into Redgrove, and there's not much that he can do. He still has the Nitro Cell to chuck. Can he find it? The kill comes out. What? Redgrove, he clutches it. Cantor Ketty. And now it's a retake on for Q confirmed. They make it a four versus two, but still one of the hardest sites to retake in the game. It is all on Ray in a one versus three. He has to stop them from crossing. Once they get into that corner, he will have to swing. There's no way this works out well in his favor. Q confirmed have the opportunity to take it. The cross happens, the shield! <laughs> what is this play no. here? Ray, you've got to make it happen now, but the <gasps> shield covers him. <sighs> what a play from Lycolis. I have never seen that before. And they try and force the plant. They've lost their control. There's 20 seconds left and they need to go in. Holding the long angle is hot and cold and there's no pressure from the back this time. Joystick not going for his garage flank. Hot and cold take a lot of damage though. Shepard getting the plant down. Karzenka with a kill. Dan will fall but the plant will be completed. Jarvis in the dying seconds will take down Shepard. So they've equalized in manpower but they're down on health. They have to worry about the top control from Joystick as well at the hatches. Pushing into the hallway door will be Mint and he'll be Im immediately eliminated. Two remain for Astralis, but a shotgun at close oh, range. Iconic. Let him go in. No. Iconic, be patient. Be patient. What are you going to do? You know two no. are there, and he gets them both. There's only one remaining, and Astralis are in good shape. And JR, four K from Iconic. Another gone six that might have just popped into yeah. corner here from the line as the pressure comes through. They're going to see if they can go for something right under the smoke. Solotov, he's going to try and lock it out. Shaiko is above. And Nello, he's just going to hold F. And well, he gets it stuck. BDS, they take the drop. Oh. And now he's going to see if he can just hold the corner. Do they know? Nello, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. BDS! <laughs> and look at Shaiko! <laughs> Even he doesn't truly really understand what happened. Flame him up. Whatever you want to use. But he will be gone and there it is. You've missed. You've missed it. There's the second one. There we go. And he's starting to get cooked alive, Ollie. But he's using the stim pistols. Look at this from the dock. Surely not. It's an ox, so there's no way. Brilliant! Oh, I, that's so good. Oh, you can try and figure out where the players are and his vertical takes a small amount of damage. It's still a two on three, 40 seconds. It's plenty of time. And RC Retiro comes around the corner yet again. Oh, he can't, but the brief fire of Lem's will as he finds one, but instantly drops afterwards. Very clever move behind the drone there to get some revenge for when it got dropped. When Shiro gets one, gets two! Shiro, the toesies! Seen it done without vertical control, but there's a lot more that ends up being taken. I really like this from Anantan right now. If Aegator can stay alive for half a second longer, even injured, it may have been enough. However, Gatorada and Anantan now, they need to combine here. They haven't been able to drone oh. out Gatorada. This is massive! Lines them all oh. up, Gatorada! What on earth is that? You have dismantled guts! What a sickening round! It's going to be Pam Bazook down for the count. 
and Hyper in a 1v3 will be what potentially seals the deal for Dark Zero. Hyper manages to get one, but the Roni will require a reload. They need to grab the Diffuser and start planting. They only have five seconds left, and their Hungry goes. You need to cover and make sure that Hyper doesn't pull this one off because he can catch Hungry right then and there. And what an absolute showing from Hyper. Excellent gameplay. This a one versus one. Brian versus Meet Me. How is this happening? A 4v2 has ended up into a one versus one, but from below, Meet Me still has his C4. And Brian has actually stopped the plant. He could have got that plant down. So this is where the intel is going to be fed. And he is going to get tagged. And Meet Me essentially should be able to win this round. But he's actually going to deagle it up first. And then potentially try and throw the C4. As it will get tossed out. Does he manage to land it? He does. He does. Meet Me gets the clutch. What a wow. play from Meet Me. We talk about his game sense. Player, plant should go down. The only question is, are they watching the piano? Flake? no, he just got to wait this out. This is so perfect from Vert. The trigger discipline is amazing. Just runs away. Nitro Cell as well. Pops that for another kill. It's the clutch from Vert as Skies has the wrong info. He's chasing him the wrong way. Things were favoring Astralis. They were in a good position. Very important picks, but now they're going to just walk their way in. Iconic is there. Grenade, or rather, a Nitro Cell goes out after getting his first kill onto Eclipse of this round. Now, heading over towards 90. Two players from DZ to C. 30 seconds left. Some intel might be available, but nothing so far that seems to be relayed to Iconic. It's the silhouette of a player over by security. Diffuser is inside of office, and there goes a drone. Did they spot Iconic, though? That's the real question. I don't think they did, because they're firing at a wall that he's nowhere nearby. This is smart. So instead, he sits here, loses his opportunity to take out NJR. So what do you do? You go back to that Diffuser. There's the Nitro Cell! Tossed perfectly by Iconic, and the lineup onto the buck with the clock saying what? zero. Count your lucky stars, literally. <laughs> Сейчас бы попасть туда отлично, это так шока. Как же вовремя, ну Шепард делает фраг Папаши, остается всего лишь он один. Можно пробовать сбивать, пилон надо есть, надо есть, надо есть. 7 секунд, надо тушить до конца, пушить или ставить, 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 дропается вниз, убежать. Раск ставит до конца, БТГ прикрывает и снизу, дробовичком, не потому. Да ладно, Шепард! Flash is coming in, still has a lot of these magnet devices, but it is Dijos on the Finca, trying to go for a sneaky rotate, finds to kill onto Lalo, another one on the Maestro, and this is a really good looking thing for Totem. I had the Diffuser. Pandemonium in a 1v1 with the Diffuser down. Oh, he gets how? taken down by two in a row. Watch for this Claymore. Yeah, he's gonna cover it up. Oh, the Claymore! And it's he enough! Claymore kill! Wow! Pandemonium! Slides in front of the Claymore. Look at that. You can't what see that play. this Claymore's here. He has noticed this though. It doesn't seem like there's a camera and there's a nice kill for Hot and Gold. He only needs two more and they're both still very low. He can deny the plant with the evil eye and just keep himself alive. 19 bullets, so he's got to be careful with that ammunition counter. And here's the denial! Oh my god! Five seconds and cameraman has to rush! Will he land the shot? One of the finest clutches I have seen in that It's a very strange predicament to be in here where the defenders are saying, look, go plant in the site. We've got a shot you above. Come and get us. You better respect this boldness of play coming in from Wild as Jay finally gets a winning position where he can find a plant. They may be able to get a slight edge against him, but they're too focused on getting the Toxic Babes out right now to try and stop the plant. It will not work out. In fact, it goes down onto the ground and Wild have it locked in. Liquid now need to make the play, but Jay all the much ready for it. Trying to work their way in, unfortunately, don't lead to a whole lot now. This will be interesting from Yeti if it works, and it looks like it oh will. Grixer with the follow-up to make it happen as well. Goodbye to Mint. What a creative play from the Sonics. 30 seconds, every player still alive, and probably the first time we've seen that all game. The first grenade heads to Pantry and just does a bit of damage to Katsang. They have the hatch to drop, but they're going to take the fight, and they're going to win it. And, the diffuser, and the diffuser is cold, and Pantry takes the drop, and suddenly it's a little bit back and forth, but it's all coming up red, but no diffuser. you got to pick it up. you got to run it to the site and hold F, but Katsang keeps it locked down, and it's a huge clutch! Something going, but yes, you've got a bit of a play with Eclipse from below, holding the Shotgun, he's joined by Canadian. Oh, it's another breach. The shotgun has the C4. Look at this. Wait for it. The call should be coming out here. There C4. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Canadian takes down Razor. The perfect timing on that. Hyper will collect the kill onto Tomas at the same time. Well, to deal with this advance. 
Diffuser in the hands of Leon Gids. Shuttle playing this small angle. He needs to pop up. Iconic softened up. Oh. Shuttle will need to clutch. He's flattened to it oh. all. And he gets all of them. Oh. Holy shit.